Hello, and welcome to AG's Science Policy Training Series. In this video, we'll be covering virtual meetings with policymakers, including what to expect and tips for achieving a successful virtual meeting. Meeting with policymakers is a great way to contribute to science policy. With the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, virtual meetings became the new normal for policymakers, and this trend will likely continue even after we get back to our usual lives. While virtual policymaker meetings will require a bit of extra planning and preparation, the flow of the actual meeting is pretty much identical to that of an in-person meeting. The meeting will start with introductions, including your personal connection to the office as a constituent. This should be followed by relaying your ask. Your ask is what you want your policymaker to do. It's important to note that the policymaker's office will expect an ask to be provided. After relaying your ask, summarize the policymaker's connection to the issue. This connection can be to the policymaker's district or state, or it can be to the policymaker's expressed values, priorities, interests, or current activities related to your issue. You should follow this with a one sentence overview of why the issue is important now, then share your story. Prepare to go beyond talking points and anecdotes. A combination of stories, facts, and details will help strengthen your case. Be sure your story ties to and ends with your ask of the policymaker. At the conclusion of the meeting, be sure to thank them and reference any upcoming outreach that will be taking place between you and the office. FaceTime with individual policymakers can be harder to come by in a virtual atmosphere. Policymakers have very busy schedules, whereas their staffers often have more time to devote to meetings and are more capable of affecting any takeaways, which is why it is more likely that you will be meet with the policymaker staff. Staffers play vital roles in a policymaker's office and should be treated with the same respect as the policymaker. Now that we've talked a little bit about what to expect during a virtual policymaker meeting, let's go over five elements that will help make your meeting a success. The first element is to be on time. Aim to sign in at least five minutes before the start time. Don't wait until the meeting time to log in or call in. And be sure to inform the scheduler if you're going to be late in case another meeting time must be arranged. The next element is to be flexible. Be flexible about the dates and times when you can meet. Policymaker and staff schedules are usually pretty busy, especially when the legislature is in session. There are also the added issues caused by working from home, like childcare and sharing makeshift workspace with a partner. If you're meeting with a staffer and the policymaker arrives in the middle of your meeting, Continue as usual. The policymaker will ask questions if needed. The third element is stay on topic. Raise only the issue you are scheduled to discuss with the policymaker or staff to keep the meeting focused and persuasive. If you notice the conversation shifting off topic, bring the discussion back to the main points. The next element is very important. Keep politics out of it. Do not, dis do not discuss elections or campaign support in your meeting it can infer that the policymaker is for sale. Also, respect the policymaker's political views and relationships outside of the office issue at hand. Whether or not your policymaker's political views are the same as your own, every policymaker values the opinions of his or her constituents. The final element is to provide a one-pager. Before your scheduled meeting, it is best practice to create and send a digital one-pager with your contact information, ask, and data points on the issue being discussed with the policymaker's office. This document should serve as a helpful resource for staff as the policy issue advances. After your meeting is over, it's important to use follow-ups over time to build trust and become a resource for the office. Here are a few ways to do this. It is best practice to send a follow-up email within a few days after meeting with a policymaker. Be sure to keep the message brief, thank the office for their time, and remind the office of the issue at hand. You can also leave links to reliable sources of information on the issue for the office to reference. You can attend town hall meetings or other virtual events in the district to build a stronger relationship with your policymaker. Be sure to look for opportunities to engage in policy matters in the district and serve as a trustworthy resource to earn visibility for your issue. Overall, staying in touch with your policymaker is a great way to become a trusted resource. Be sure not to over-communicate with your policymakers, but do pass along new information about your issue as it is released. 
Communicate with your policymakers in a respectful and informative manner to gain their respect for you and your point of view. As mentioned earlier, video meetings have become the norm these days, and yet we have all been in meetings where someone's microphone or headset didn't work, they forgot to take themselves off mute, they were totally backlit and you couldn't see their face, or had other problems. Let's go over some additional tips and tricks to help you avoid these and other virtual meeting pitfalls. Ensure that your technical setup is sound well in advance of the meeting, including testing the platform technology, testing the webcam and microphone, and checking your internet speed. Dress professionally as if the meeting were held in person. Make sure your environment is well lit, quiet, and free of distractions. This includes turning off notifications and shutting down any unnecessary windows and programs. When speaking, do so clearly and concisely and make sure you're looking at the camera when speaking. It can help to have your camera raised to your eye level. Don't use backgrounds that are flashy or can be distracting to others. Except when taking notes, avoid multitasking during the meeting. Don't leave your microphone on when not speaking. This can cause unwelcome background noise. Remember that typing is very loud, especially if you're using the computer mic. And during the meeting, avoid interrupting or talking over others when they are speaking. We hope these tips and tricks will help you look, look and sound good in your meeting and free you to focus on the content of the meeting instead of tech issues. That concludes this training. For questions regarding the information covered in this video, please contact us at sciencepolicy at agu.org. Thanks.